cultivating change. I invite you to take a cosmic tour with me, a tour through time, because the idea of cultivating to me brought up an image of dirt and flowers. But what does it take to create dirt and flowers? Billions of years ago, we didn't have dirt or flowers anywhere in the universe, as far as we know. We had stars and more stars shapes and sizes of stars. We didn't even have elements like carbon and oxygen. But the stars were the source of these. So maybe just imagine yourself in space. You don't have a body. There's no carbon, nothing to have a body with. You're just awareness. Well, maybe you're being one of those stars. But you have this strange idea of dirt and flowers. And you want to get your fingers, whatever they are, into the dirt and grow some beautiful flowers. What do you do? You take one of those stars, or more of them, just give them a little nudge, little energetic nudge, and kaboom, we get a supernova. So much energy, so much heat. It fuses those small hydrogen and helium atoms into bigger atoms, bigger atoms that can one day be dirt, can be flowers, can be hands. Those atoms spread over the whole universe, joining up with others. One day, many billions of years later, we have planets, rocks, atmosphere, we have eventually life. Life evolves, evolves. Evolves. Organisms die, rocks grind down, water mushes everything around, and we have dirt. We have hands. We find seeds, we collect, we look around, we organize flowers. Just step back and admire the handiwork of our eons and eons of cultivating change. to whatever we want to, to end up being in the moment. And so it is. Namaste.